Good morning everyone, welcome to Virginia is for Coaster Lovers, the yearly coaster crew event that is held here at Kings of May and Busch Gardens. This is day one, we're super excited to be here. Sarah, Jen, Austin, Clint! Hey! Woo! Hey! Jen, this is your first time at Kings Dominion! Yes! What are you most looking forward to? I threw a five. Yeah? You didn't know that? I yeah, it's your first time. I don't know, maybe I didn't know well. that. Austin, good to see you. Last time we saw you was in Belgium. In a parking lot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, yeah, good to see you. And Clint, I, I, we never run into each other around here. I believe the last time we ran into each other was here. You guys were getting off at Timbili, and I was recording something at Timbili. It was a mess. And now we're going to go to Timbili. Let's go to Timbili! <laughs> are, you, are you happy to see me too? You didn't even say it. Sarah, we see each other every day. <laughs> so we got our schedule of events here on our itinerary. So we just checked in. We're headed over to Timbili, as we mentioned, for an exclusive ride time and then 11 we have an i305 takeover lunch and then we got some behind the scenes tours including i305 which I am very excited to do they dropped the rope for us and we're on our way you excited to ride Tumbili? No, sorry <laughs> <laughs> man the theming for jungle expedition gets better every day here we are Tumbili. all right everybody say Tumbili is the best ride in the park <laughs> See, here's what everyone does is everyone just goes to the right because that's what they see, but they don't realize you can go over here and go on the other side. <laughs> this side's better anyways, cause theming. Yeah, I don't know why. I still don't know why. First ride of the day. Austin, how'd you like it? It was better than I thought. I can't complain that much. I feel like that's what everyone says after they yeah. do this one. Like, yeah, it's, good. it's shorter, but it, it's punchier. Like, it's just enough, you know? Yeah, it's punchier. Yeah. I flipped twice. It was fun. And Jen, how'd you like it? I didn't hate it. Like, it's not my favorite, but I, I didn't hate it. <laughs> Did you hate the others? I hated Joker, yeah. Okay, so then, yes, this is better. All right, next up we're doing Reptilian, which is kind of a huge deal because it's Jen's first bobsled, and for some reason she's extremely excited about it. Jen, say what happened the last time you tried to ride a mock bobsled. It was disaster transport, <laughs> and we, we waited in line, and we were like three trains away, and then a giant powder, power outage, and I never got to get on it. All right, Taylor, say the thing. I'd like to formally apologize. I just realized that Disaster Transport is an intimate bobsled and not a mock bobsled. So what does that mean? My enthusiast card has been revoked. And that means what I'm about Austin? I'm an idiot. And Austin's smarter. No! Okay, we found Matt. Duh. Rocking probably the only good shirt that they had at Fantasialand. Hey, no, 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 I bought the other Fantasia one, Land. the Terran one. Okay, so Those that and Terran. I don't you know, that one's pretty cool. Too. And then Gabby is literally I-305 today. Hold on, let's check this out. Amazing. Let's get a close-up on that eyeliner. Oh my gosh! So I'm guessing that's the one you're most excited to ride today? Can you tell? It's just so obvious. Just a smidge. Food time here in the picnic pavilions. Let's see what we got. We got baked beans. This mac and cheese looks amazing. And this is bratwurst, not hot dogs. And then sauerkraut. And then chicken wings. Got a plate full of it. It's gonna be good. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the watermelon and chips. And it's all you can eat. All right, Clint, how's the food? Uh, it's good. How's it's the food? Gone. It's gone? It's gone? It, it, it was so there. Good. <laughs> awesome, how was it? It's good, I love sausage. <laughs> Go ahead, take a bite. Oh, I'm not gonna take a bite on camera. Please. <laughs> Please, take a bite. Please, take a bite. Uh-oh. <laughs> It's one dollar, and, and you eat the, the watermelon with the ketchup on it. Just you give me a dollar. You, you, you dollar. promise. I'll Venmo you a dollar. I'm Venmo a dollar. Yes, you have my Venmo? I have your Venmo. Okay. Do it. Do it. I have your Venmo. Too. Now everybody's watching. Sarah! 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 Sarah. Yeah. 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 Called uh, Diagon Alley. We did that. I'm like, oh, I think I've heard of it. 
Okay, so Tony, who's the one giving us the tour of the here, he was just explaining that Jungle X is going to be like the standard for Cedar Fair Fiji, which is super awesome. Yeah. He, that was like the one thing. Oh, I know. He said this was the experiment for all the other parks. He said, what is this going on at Carowinds Aeronautical Landing is going to be on the same level. The detail in all these rooms is insane. It's like all the stuff that you only see for like half a second when you're walking through here. I love this room. Do you think this is on the real plane? Uh, you know what? I, I think I'm going to pass on this one. There are roaches all over the food. That's just so about what normal gross. broccoli looks like to me. You know what? Some people like broccoli, Sarah. Bro isn't looking too good. And neither are all of these people, or what was a person. When you're tired of scare acting all day, you can just go to bed. No, you can't. That's what we would. We're walking over to the Winterfest warehouse. Look, it's the King's Dominion sign. You can't see from anywhere. I know, because the perspective from 95, like, the trees are too tall. Like, if they can just magically make this, like, 20 feet taller, that probably help their attendance. As this building was built in 2018, it's where they keep all of the Winterfest stuff. We're about to go in. All right, so like I said before, guys, this, you are the first people that ever, who don't work here, get to see this. Wow. That is a lot of stuff. Oh, clearly it's not all Winterfest stuff. <laughs> Unless this is a part of Winterfest that I do not remember. Or the beer garden. Look at this, there's the big elephant. There's a workstation, you can see all the paint. They got a saw set up. I mean, this is all stuff you probably don't even think about when you come to one of these events, but there's a lot that clearly goes into making all this happen. They said they got these shelves from Toys R Us when they went out of business. They were lucky and jumped on them. There's just aisles and aisles of just stuff. There's a ginormous ornament. I think I have something going on with my one leg. You think I should get it checked out? <laughs> Oh God. We're beginning our walk over to I-305 for the tour, and we're literally in corn stalkers. This is where all the corn is. Uh, obviously not right now, but you can just see how it's all supported via these posts. Well, sad news, I-305 is currently down, so uh, the tour that we were going to do is canceled, which I'm super bummed about. They did give us a front of the line pass. For yeah, the yeah, so, then. yeah, I mean, so, I mean, hey, they, they came through with us, uh, helping us out, which will be good, because today is a Saturday. Um, I was just bummed. I was, I've never done an I-305 tour. Like, yeah, was, it was amazing, like, the Tristan Timbers tour that they did last year. Yeah, and today's, like, perfect lighting for it, so, I mean, some other time, but, yeah, definitely a little bit of a buzzkill, but we'll, we'll try and still make the most of today. This Eiffel Tower stands at a height of 331 and a half feet. It's a one-third scale replica of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Well, that's a buzzkill. I-305 is literally operating, and we just were told that it was down, so by the time we would have gotten over there, it would have been running. After a beautiful view from the top of the Eiffel Tower, we're on our way to do I-305. Matt, you stoked? Can't wait, dude. It was running so good earlier, by the way. So freaking good. Yeah. In the morning, too. Ready to pass out? Jerk off. I already wrote it. Can you say that on YouTube? Jerk off? <laughs> yeah, I did. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> hey, Jen, I'm not going to lie. I cannot stop staring at your chest today. <laughs> As a certified lighting enthusiast, this looks so cool with the dark clouds and the sun shining on Tumbili. Oh my gosh. Definitely some longer queues. We got about an hour for Flight of Fear and up ahead you can see, yeah, that is a pretty decently long line for I-305, a line we're definitely not used to seeing. So that's only like 20 some minutes. Jen's never ridden it before. You ready? Yes! You ready? Yes! To wait in a 20 minute line. Yes! And then ride! Yes! All right. <laughs> Shot? <laughs> Bro! 
How'd you get the front? How'd you get the front? That line was so long! Are you themed to McDonald's this? <laughs> that should be illegal, like actually criminal. Dude, it does whatever it wants with you, man. It flips me this way, it flips me that way. Which is why it should be in your top ten. Minimum. Nah, it's not in the top ten. I lost my mind. I was screaming the whole entire time. She, she's still I'm red. <laughs> Jen, I'm pretty sure I could hear you screaming from you the ground. I, 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 I that is like not acceptable. How do normal people ride that? They don't. <laughs> How was your first mock bobsled? It was boring. Like, it was just really boring. It left a lot to be desired. Okay. To no, I fair, get it. When it. At least when I first got on it after reopened, I don't remember the midpoint stopping like that. Like, I don't think that it did. Well, it definitely didn't used to. I know for a fact when it was Avalanche, it didn't used to. Yeah. But I don't know, as of recently, it's been stopping right to like, like up a dead hole. Yeah, the mid course. It's I don't get it at all. I don't I know like why they're doing it. No, no. It definitely like it had so much potential and I felt like I was getting excited and then all of a sudden I was just stopped. And I was like, what the heck? And then it just didn't get exciting it's exciting again. What do you think of this? She's literally texting and ignoring it. These are my friends! Oh man, I hope this isn't true. Please, can we not spend the rest of the night in line for this? But I really want to write it. Okay, I have to make a statement that Austin just pointed out. Do you think that they ordered a W or two M's? And put the one M upside down, because it looks like That looks M. like an M. It definitely looks like an M. I'll say it for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> no way this is 75, otherwise these would be full. Let's go on a ride through the wilderness. Just kidding, wrong ride. All right, this is a new one, the lockers are broken, so we're just gonna go put everything on a table over here, and they're gonna bundle it up, but that was definitely not a 75 minute wait. That was not bad at all. You ready? Oh my God. So hyped. Twisted Timbers is running fantastic. Uh, the locker system disaster is not fantastic. Uh, it's not open, and there's just a table full of everybody's stuff. And like Austin's phone got mixed in with someone else's, and they thought they gave it away. And I'm like, they tried to hand me someone's up. wallet with like money in it, and my phone was like gone. This yeah. is wild. Yeah, yeah. This like is one of the ride-offs was like, I think, this is a terrible system. They should have just closed the ride, like yeah, because be the allowed. lockers are not working. Because it is like a giant mess. Like while they were trying to figure out Austin's phone, like why it wasn't on the table. They're just meanwhile, like, oh, maybe we should call. Yeah, well, and maybe the, the, they should notice that there's a massive line like filling up in the station because now everyone's like waiting for this because like it's turning into a queue to get your stuff and it's like stretching all the way back. I'm just gonna buy a locker. For my cell phone. Like, like holy my cow. Yeah, that was crazy. Hey! Oh, I haven't seen you all day. Words are hard, I get it. Uh, this is so vengeance. much better than Steel Vengeance. You get yeeted way more. I almost died like 10 times. My Stop. ear hurts. Stop yelling. <laughs> I'm really excited. It was so good. <laughs> Thank you. Someone else gets it. Thank you. No one else gets it. Oh man, I've missed this park during the summer and night. We're headed over to do the best night ride. Grizzly! Yes! Why are you wearing sunglasses? Hello again! Here we go! Let's see how it's running. Whoa! There's literally no one here. Alright, there we go. Last two rides yeah, of the, the night dog. on Grizzly. And the crew was super awesome. They were like tur yeah. turning out the lights, like spooking us all. Like yeah, it was like, like pitch black in the station. I've never seen anyone do that. I know, it was awesome. It was like something special just for the last ride. And uh, we had a blast. You can tell they retract like the last bit of the ride because it's like a drastic difference. In yeah. Seasons. Now I'm curious what you thought of this one because I've been telling you for a long time about how awesome a Grizzly night ride is. It is 
so the drop, like the first drop, and then I believe the second drop are both like you don't see anything below you. That's what. So the first like, drop. That's a better first drop than like like when you do a voyage night ride. It's it's everything in the back. Like, that's where crazy. It shines. Yeah. This is it shines on like the drop. Yeah. So the drop different. like twists a little bit to the left, and so. You, but you can't tell. You can't see where the drop is about to go, so then you just get yanked, especially towards the back. So we did the front row as well as the second to last row, and um, it's fantastic. They did have a spotlight on like the turnaround and stuff, but it wasn't a big deal because like the other yeah. sections of the ride, you it just couldn't see, see anything. Your phone's not going. No, it is. <laughs> You're phone. so dumb. It's just the light. Your phone's definitely not recording yet. I said. No, it says that it's not go going. Away. I swear. <laughs> And that does it for Virginia's for Coastalers here at King's Dominion. Tim, I want to thank you for putting on an awesome event. This was a lot of fun. Uh, always a good time. We were here last year uh, when it was uh, during Halloween Haunt, uh, this time in the summer, and it was a good time. I look forward to next year. This was your first time here. Hey, what do you man. think? In it the was tube. So <laughs> we surfing, man. We're awesome. going in the tube later. All right, I got it. Yeah, right, right. Right. We're done. You are done. Jen, your first time here. What do you think? So good. Twisted and Timbers is better than Steel Vengeance. I-305 is amazing, and the two of them are worth it. Catch yeah. Catch it. Summer. Absolutely. Yeah. Summer. Oh, I'm not in the video. <laughs> Gabby, how was your day? Absolutely phenomenal. I love I-305. I would die for that ride full dramatics. As I'm dressed as it. You look so good. Thank you. No. Oh, I'm not in the video. Clint, you've never been here before, ever to King's Dominion in your life. Craziness. What did you think? Uh, I, I I had a great time. So did I. I love you, Austin. <laughs> this man and Sarah. Awesome. Can we go home now? I'm yeah, that's fine. Guys. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more Hair Coaster Studios. Good night.